This just came out on July 2nd of this year, 2024. Yes, there are increases to this benefit, which is the post 9-11 GI Bill. If you get value from this channel, like, subscribe, comment below if you've taken advantage of the GI Bill. I personally have. I've used it for my undergrad for cyber policy and management, which was as dry as it sounds. And then I was working on my master's and um, I took a break on that. But yes, the GI Bill has been increased. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I'm going to have this link below in the pinned comments so you can see, see this for yourself. This is the Federal Register. If you are not subscribed to the Federal Register, it's free. Just make sure you click the VA option. Um, this is where this is the best source for VA news. OK. But increase in maximum tuition and fee amounts payable under the post 9-11 GI Bill. This is big news. So I'm not going to read the summary. GI Bill is for tuition. Okay. Now you have this thing called the academic year. And it is through August 1st of 2024 through July 31st of 2025. Those are important dates to remember. What we are going to read is the supplemental information on what this actually is and then you'll see the amounts kind of plain language here for gi bill and then you have your licensing certification national tests and prep courses amounts there all in plain language now starting with the supplemental information right for a y academic year 24 25 the post 9 11 gi bill authorizes va to pay the actual net cost of tuition and fees, not to exceed the in-state amounts for students pursuing a program of education at public, this part is key here, at public institutions of higher learning. Then it has your dollar amount for pursuing a program at private or foreign institutions. Yes, GI Bill can be used in foreign institutions. There's an amount here for students pursuing a program at non-degree granting institutions. Beware of this. There's a lot of scams involving around that, which is outside of this particular Fed, Fed, Fed reg, but that is a real thing. And my camera just died. Look at that. No big deal. You don't need to see my face anyways. Then you have uh, this dollar amount, 16.5. For students training at vocational flight schools and about 14 grand for students training at correspondence schools. In addition, the entitlement change for individuals receiving reimbursement, the cost associated with taking a license, cert, or national test is prorated based on the amount reimbursed of the test fee relative to the rate of about 2400 bucks for one month. And there's CFR codes for you to check at, for you to look at, and then maximum reimbursement reimbursable amount for a licensing cert is about two is two two grand there is no maximum reimbursement there is no maximum reimbursement for national test this is good news also the entitlement chain charge is for individuals receiving reimbursement of the cost associated with a prep course preparatory course for a licensure certification or national test is prorated based on the reimbursed amount covered preparatory course fee relative to the rate of 23.48 for one month right you can read the rest of that um, it gives you your cfr codes here sections all this stuff now what i want to show you is the amounts if you don't like reading everything i just read which is a bit which is a little mouthful you have plain language right here so gi bill academic year remember august to july public and state resident char char charges you're covered. Private form, there's the thing there, or the dollar figure there. Non-degree, be very careful of this one. Vocational, and then correspondence, and you have your licensing certification test, national test, and your prep courses here. All this part right here is essentially plain language of what we just read. So if you're gonna look at anything, it's gonna be this part right here, not proposed. OK, if it's proposed and just because we're on the subject here, this wasn't really a plan, but I'm going to show you what a proposal would look like. There's specific language in there um, for proposals. And I want to show you 
what that looks like, especially if you are going to get into the Fed reg, okay? So this is a proposal for VRNE entitlement determination. This is about um, collecting information, blah, 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 blah. Anytime you see this right here, this document has a comment period that ends in 63 days. That is a proposal, okay? Um, Proposal. So food for thought, that's different than the GI Bill one because it's not a proposal. It's a notice by the VA on 7-2. And then down below, you'll see the signature here signing authority, our boy Dennis McDonough, which by the way, failed a phishing attempt, um, which is to me very, very hilarious. Okay. It actually sucks. That's not good. Um, but it's funny that the secretary did, but hey, he owned up to it. Good on him. But uh, yeah, that's all we got.